Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will present you how the UAPAT robots can interact with the Salesforce Lightning platform using background activities. From UAPAT Go, you need to download the connector for Salesforce. After you install it on UAPAT, under UAPAT team Salesforce Lightning platform, you will find around 85 activities that allow you to create a very powerful background automation for Salesforce. First of all, you will drag and drop a Salesforce application scope, and here you have to configure the REST API parameters. After I configure the REST API parameters from UAPAT Studio, I'm able to test the connection. Yeah, so clicking the test connection, I'm able to see that now I have a valid connection with Salesforce. This will help me to test every comment that I send from my UAPAT Studio to the Salesforce directly from on, on the design time. For example, if I want to get data yeah, from Salesforce, I will use this wizard with get data wizard. And I have here multiple commands. For example, on this one, I can run a command on the opportunity. In this way, the system will provide me in life on the design type exactly the data of a command. So I will receive the name, type, close date, and so on. But in this case, I work with the opportunity object. So each Salesforce system it's customized so you can customize how you want your opportunity object in my case i want also the probability and i want also some data from account so i'll go to account and i will ask for data and in my report i want the name the name and i want also the local name and i want also the description of the account yeah so if i go back to the command i will see that the wizard complete everything for me. And now when I run the command, I can see on the design time before I start the implementation, what is the response and what is the format of my data table. So now I will just hit save. And this function will return me a data table. I have here all the command and this data table, I will use a for each and do all the um, stuff on the data that I want. But now the important stuff with the, uh, um, uh, with the Salesforce connector, it's to add data on Salesforce. So the automation is made um, for adding a lot of data in Salesforce much faster than the human. So you can work with accounts, products, price book orders, and a lot of known uh, objects from Salesforce. Let's see what we can do with an account. So on an account, we can add accounts, we can delete accounts, we can update accounts. So what is the procedure to add an account? You just drag and drop another account function. And now you have to configure some parameters, but you don't know exactly what parameters you need to provide. So you can ask the server to, put, to give the mandatory parameters. In our case, in case of our server, we need to have the name, the industry, the currency, so, and the billing country. If I want to add up other parameters, again, I will ask for an, an uh, example. Yeah. So let's say that I want to add also the city, but what I need to do for the city. So I will just say billing city. Okay, so let's add some parameters and let's see how we can work. Good, so let's I add some parameters. Now from design time, I can run the command to see that if what I provide is okay. So you can see now I have a valid command, but this is was only a test. So let's say revert data and the data will be deleted from the server. Let's make a mistake. Yeah, let's add a parameter that is called blah, blah. Blah, blah. Yeah, let's put it like this. And let's put the dummy value. If I run the command now, you will see that the system will recognize that this column is not part of the account object. So all the comments that I send over the REST API are comments that are following the validation rules in the business rules from Salesforce. Now, like I said, we have a lot of uh, um, um, objects that you work. You have a special objects like file. You can add file to the Salesforce. You can, uh, you can assign files to the opportunities to the accounts and so on. But the Salesforce system, it's a customer system, yeah? So every client can customize the Salesforce system how they want. So here you have a list of the objects that you have on our Salesforce system. So I can go and select an object, let's say code. And if I go here and say, configure parameters, I have the same functionality. So I can get the mandatory files for that parameter. I'm able to get an example for that, that object. So every, the system, it's able to work with any type of, um, um, uh, the system is able to work with any type of instance of Salesforce. 
Good. Now let's see what else we have. So we are able to work. Uh, we are able to uh, to print reports. So you just provide the report ID and you are able to print a report. You are able to search. You have a generic search in the same way that you search on the Salesforce on the top. You have a generic search function, and you have also a uh, check ID function. And you'll, in the future, you'll see that there is a wizard that will write the call by itself. But this is a subject of another movie. What you need to remember about this connector is that it uses the power of the UiPath robots that can integrate with any software from your PC to feed data in a very fast and safe way to your Salesforce system. In this way, you can unleash the full power of your Salesforce CRM that depends on the volume and accuracy of the data. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.